thing. Look who is eating an inyala. I cannot tell you now how many of the Nkuhumas are here, unfortunately. But this little one is munching away. No, sorry, I'm, I'm <laughs> a little bit confused as to what happened. Now, you can see there's lots of vehicles around here. It's very, very difficult for us to get a decent view. They are in the thickest of thickets at the moment. And you'll see, you'll see the car tires as Craig starts to zoom out. They're very, very tight. So we've come across onto the other side just to have a little look around here. And it seems to be a very, very busy sighting, this line sighting. So I suspect we're not going to be able to stay here for very long. I'm sure we'll probably, if we're lucky, get about 10 minutes. But then we are going to have to pull out. The standbys are lining up. And as you can see, like I said, it's so difficult to count how many Nkuhumas are here. Uh, with all the vehicles around, there's obviously two big Birminghams that are here. I also cannot tell you who they are at the moment. But we'll just sit and enjoy this lion sighting and take it as it comes. And I've seen about three cubs so far, but I can hear more growling off into the distance. But I must tell you that this is the first time I've ever seen lions eating an inyala before. I, they've seen them eating every other animal that you can think of, porcupines, aardvark, you name it. But I've never seen lions eating an inyala. So this is a first for me, and, and quite amazing. I've seen lions chasing inyala quite often, but wow, good luck to them. Well, well done to them, sorry. And it's actually, I think, a difficult animal to catch. Now, you see the leopards catching them all the time, but they're a lot sneakier than lions, leopards being much smaller, able to, I think, stalk a lot better than a lion can and get up a little bit closer, but they've devoured it. There's nothing left. The little ones, when I very quickly popped onto the other side, you could see that they were just chewing the leftovers around the head, and that's it. So hopefully, after this, they'll have a siesta today, and then maybe they'll get moving a little bit later this evening. Because a meal, oh, even though it was a big male in Yala, well, that's not enough, of course, to feed at least three lionesses with six cubs and two big males. That big male, one of those big males, would have eaten that in Yala on his own. And it actually looks like he has, telling or judging from the size of his stomach. Look at that. You can just see the little horns moving. It's not because the Nyala is alive, but there is a little cub just on the other side of that lioness. We might just see its back. But there's two of the Nkuhuma lionesses. The third one must just be off to the left. Like I said, it's very, very dense feeding in there. Maybe what we can try and do at some point is reposition a little bit better. The birds are chirping. It is going to be hot. I'm going to have to take my jersey off. Ah, Melissa, you're wondering how we come up with the names of the pride. It depends on the, on the animal. Normally what happens with the, the males, for example, the coalition names for the boys come from the area that they were born. So remember, a lot of these places are are smaller farms that were all put together and sort of re-established and then turned into wilderness areas. So, for instance, the Birminghams come from the Birmingham farm in the Timbavati. That's how they get their names. Now, the lionesses are slightly different. And the Nkuhuma means brown ivory. So when the Nkuhumas were found, they were actually found under a brown ivory tree. So that's where they got their, their name on. It's different for every 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 pride, I suppose. The southern pride in the, the south southwestern corner of the Sabi Sands, it is literally the most southern pride of lions that live permanently in the Sabi Sands. So that's where they got their name from. And then who else? The Torchwood pride. I suppose the Torchwood pride predominantly live on Torchwood, and maybe they were found in the Torchwood area, and, and maybe it's also a similar process with the boys. Like I said, I think they're a bit more lenient with the, with the prides, the family groups. They sort of give them either an area name or a specific tree that they found them on in the, ca and, uh, in the case of the Nkuhumas. Hello, who are you? Are you Mfumo? I cannot really tell who that is. It looks like it, but look who's, look at that canine, how it's chipped. Can you see that, the bottom right canine? There is 
half of it taken out. Now, that could be from a number of different things. That could be from fighting. That could just be from wear and tear. But just from that swollen nose, I'd say that this is most likely. I could be mistaken. Maybe it's tenure. But maybe you can help me out a little bit. You haven't seen these lions for such a long time. I've forgotten what all of them look like. Hello, little one. But most likely it will be Tinyo and Mfumo that are here with the Nkupuma pride. They are hang around in this area quite often. We don't often see Nena and Nsuku coming this side. Just every now and then we are lucky enough to see them. And a little cub that came over to get some love from Mum. And I haven't seen our favorite little girl yet. There's the third lioness. Thank you, lovely lady, for coming out. And there they go again around the corner. 